John Jones, I'm here at home, and today we are talking about the JFJ Easy Pro. This is an ultimate guide to this machine because let me tell you something this machine will screw your disc up if you listen to the manual. So go ahead and take that manual that you first got with this machine, tear it up in little bits, and use it to warm up your tuna fish sandwich, okay? I'm gonna tell you how to get all this, these products way cheaper than you would buy on the damn website because they're just getting it from um, China anyway. So I'm gonna show you all the pads I use, all the stuff that I use, and I'm also gonna tell you how to keep this thing from destroying your freaking disc. Let me show you something real quick here, brother. You see this? You see this disc? It's pretty scratched, right? Works perfectly fine. I can actually play this right now if I wanted to. I don't have time, but I would, and it could. See this? This is something that the JFG Easy Pro did to my disc. I don't know if you can see it there. We'll go on the other side so you can see it. That is a bubble. That bubble goes all the way through the disc. See those scratches? Those scratches don't matter. The data is on the other side of this, but you have a bubble going all the way through to the other side. It's ruined. Why is it ruined? Well, because the manual doesn't tell you that you need to use some freaking water. Because if you use your sandpaper or your pads too long, it will bubble your disc. It will melt your discs. So you need to use water. That's right. And do not whatsoever put this on the one minute or two minute setting with sandpaper or your pad without water, okay? Don't, I don't care what the manual says. I'm here to tell you I've had plenty of experience. Do not listen to the manual, burn it. All right, so here is what GFJ Easy Pro sent me. Well, I've used it a few times, you could say, right? Well, let's see, this right here, if I go to the website, cost me $10. See how it's wore down? Yeah, that's great. These. I sell on eBay. I've used this literally as much as I've used the other pad. And look at that. It's not falling apart like these. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That cost me $6 on its own. No, $9. Yes. Well, what about what about that? What about this one that I got for cheap? Well, this one I can keep on using and using and using. It doesn't fall apart. Why am I angry? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because JFJ sent me 3M stuff. You guys want to fix your disc? They send you this sandpaper. 600 uh, grit, wet or dry, 3M, all right? This feels like the same damn sandpaper as this, which is supposed to be 1200 wet or dry, okay? 3M stuff, sorry, but it's basic crap. Go out and get you some Hercules 1200, okay, 1200 grit sanding. I cut these down, right? These come in sheets, they don't stick on, so what I do is I take these little stick-on pads here and put some super glue on them, Cut these out in circles, stick them on there, and they work perfectly freaking fine. Absolutely perfectly freaking fine. This is 600 grit sandpaper. This will fix a disc 20 times, and I'm not lying, 20 times faster than this 600 grit. Because this is actually good shit, okay? This is good stuff, all right? So get some of that. Definitely get some of that. Meguiar's. Get some Meguiar's. It's so good. Get rid of all that crap. And then... Lots and lots of water. Yes, this is a water gun. It's fun, okay? Come on. It's fun. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and put my money where my mouth is. And we're going to fix this crap. See this here? Yeah. Hey, what's up? We're going to fix that. Does that look good? Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Now, if I was to listen to the manual, what I'd do is I'd put that on the sandpaper setting for like a minute, melt it, and then I'd go, well, screw that. We'll just try another game. No. With this, I'll show you how to fix even the worst games. I'll make it worse than this and fix it. Go ahead and take our Bauer pad. We stick it in there. Now, all this is is a motor and a spindle. That's all it is. So it's not a big wizard-like machine. You can do this yourself if you wanted to. So I'm sorry I'm being hard on you, JFJ Easy Pro, for selling me a $200 machine that's a motor and then selling me products that are jacked up three or four times what they would actually cost. These things are cheap. Okay, not $10. You have to put your own, the hole in them yourself. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That takes so much. That's definitely worth tons of money to put a hole in it. Anyways, with this, I've used this sandpaper like 40 times. It's still fine. I've had to go through six of these 3M pads. So we're going to go ahead and put that down. We're going to put this, this Assassin's Creed. I don't know if it works. We'll see if it works. But you can see it's not in good uh, shape. I'm going to go ahead, pop it on here. And, uh, and show you the steps. All right, here's the fun part. You wanna squirt this a little bit, hello. I have a spray bottle, but I couldn't find it. 
and then you want to spray the sandpaper a few times hello now you don't want to do this for 20 seconds if you just use a fresh sanding disc but i do because this is a bit worn out we'll turn it on we'll hit 20 seconds not a minute we'll wait a lot of that beauty and this will actually fix the disc way 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 faster than any 3m crap I mean, this right here is going to take uh, probably 20 seconds. This disc should be done, chewed down to the base level. And uh, one of these 3M pads, I've literally used for five minutes and put water on it over and over 10, 20 seconds at a time. And still it does nothing. In fact, all it does is eventually ruin your disc because it melts it. It gets too hot. You can't control it. Ah, well, look at this. It's not too hot because I sprayed it with water. Here is the other half of the disc. See, it's all on there. Good stuff. See this dust? Don't breathe it. Preferably you want to use a mask for this, okay? I don't have one on right now because I have to speak. Or maybe I don't have to. Maybe I'm being too annoying. But anyways, what we'll do is we'll take a cloth, clean that off, and then we're going to put in our other sandpaper. Not the crap they sent us, but this. The Hercules sandpaper. This is 1200 grit, and we'll go ahead Soak that down with water and do the same thing. I got it on there. I've cleaned the sandpaper off so there's no huge particulates on there because you see some stuff will gather at the bottom. Those are from the pads that I used beforehand that tore out pieces really quickly. And we're going to go ahead and put that on 20 seconds again because you don't go one minute. Even if you sprayed it with water, you don't go one minute. It will overheat and it will bubble your disc and melt them or it'll leave this weird mud puddle looking thing on your disc that you can barely see it, even if it's shiny you could eat steak off that disc it will still be unreadable so 20 seconds we take the lid back off see it looks a lot better there hello hi how are you oh let's go ahead and do it again and again and again all right yeah good deal 20 more seconds it is yeah i'm trying to do this real time so you guys can see because literally, if you follow the directions of the manual, you are going to spend 10 minutes a disc and hopefully get a functioning disc. Sometimes you will just burn it up. You will just melt it because that plate gets super hot. Let's look at it. See this here? This actually is probably playable as is right now because the Xbox doesn't really care too much about small scratches. But we're gonna go ahead and give it another spray. And a brush is good for any particulates here if you have any on there. I should have done that, but I think it's fine. I don't see any marks on there where there's some heavy piece of the material still stuck on that pad. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, put on our pad that I've used multiple times and hasn't been chewed down at all yet. As you can see, perfectly fine. We're going to use some Meguiar's, and although it says not to use it with water, we're going to put water on it because it works perfectly fine that way. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, Meguiar's out. Put the Meguiar's on there. Notice how it doesn't sink in like it does on the pads that comes with the JFG Easy Pro because the open cell foam is not nearly as coarse. So now we're going to go ahead. Uh, we got, I don't know, just kind of mimic this here. You'll get a use, you, you get an idea of how much you need to use. It's not critical it sort of depends on the disc itself sometimes you can use way too much and it's a pain in the ass so just be fairly generous with it i put it on one minute let me turn it back on one minute and we'll sit wait one minute i will go ahead reapply a little bit of this a lot of water i mean i'm talking about a lot of water and i'll do it for another minute if it needs any work after that i'll keep adding a ton of water because you need a lot of water here it just ended its cycle of one minute Ooh. let's see it's looking pretty good we're gonna go ahead and give it a lot of water i'm gonna feel the back plate because the back plate is made out of aluminum and it is a little bit warm but just maybe body temperature so very liberal with the water lots of water a whole lot of water we're talking water city okay now sometimes this will actually fill up with some water um I've had it filled up with an inch of water. It doesn't seem to hurt the machine. So let's go ahead and put it back on one minute. Actually, I'm going to go 20 seconds this time because of the way it looks. And then I'm going to add a little more Meguiar's. 
All right, so 20 seconds. We didn't add any more Meguiar's because it might be enough there. It looked pretty good on its own, so I'm gonna go another 20 seconds, and if I notice any scratches that show up, then I'm gonna add a little more Meguiar's because sometimes the Meguiar's will cover up some scratches. So we'll go ahead, 20 seconds, it will all water, come back and see what it looks like. It should be ending here soon. All right, looks pretty good. There's a few little marks, but I think we're fine. I think we're good. Let's try this out. Let's try it out. Of course, I'm not gonna fake anything because what is the freaking point of doing that? Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like it's spinning. Oh, look at that, it works. Wow, and that's all I needed to do? That's all, that's all you had to do was not buy JFJ products? Jesus, I'm sorry I'm so angry. It's just it's just literally after I got all this stuff, after I worked all this stuff out, it just made me angry how many discs I had ruined listening to the manual. These here, these pads, you can get for cheap. I sell them on eBay if you want to get them faster because it takes a while to get them. Um, I sell them on eBay for $7.50 each, which is way better than what you're going to get them on eBay anyway because they usually go for $10 or $11 a pad, but these will hold up. Um... They will definitely hold up. So if you want to buy those, let me know. I do have them, and I'm not making a bunch of money on them. I, I just figured, you know what, I bought a lot of them. I don't really need that many, so you guys can take advantage if you want. Just to show you, it does work. You know, no problem. Wait 10 years for the intro to be done with, but yeah, it works. It's loading, it's playing, it's fine, okay? Don't buy JFJ products. Once again, I'll go over the stuff you need. Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. It's actually for cars, but it works perfectly for polishing plastic. Meguiar's. Bauer 600 grit sanding pads. Be careful with these, okay? The first time you use them, they're going to eat your disc up pretty quickly. So be careful with these. Um, once you use it five or six times, it'll start smoothing out a bit. And then, of course, Hercules. I just got this, it's cheap, uh, 1200 grit. I just stick it on top of the pads, just get those. And uh, frankly, you're probably never gonna have to use this thing. Like I, a lot of discs, I never have to use this thing on. The reason I had to use this one is because that one was so bad. Most of the time, you'll be fine just using the 1200 grit or just uh, the pad itself. The pad itself will take care of a lot of stuff. Anyways, until next time, let me get some freaking gameplay up in here. Yeah, I've honestly never played this before, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, you're in some sort of dream or something, and faceless women are chasing you while the... It's awful. Uh, you gotta throw these women? Are you serious? I have to throw them? How do I... Why would I do that? Uh, just a disclaimer. If you use any of these products that are not JFJ products, you will void your warranty. Now... If you care about the warranty on a $200 machine, then you might just want to stick with buying from them. But if you want to save any money and make any money for pairing discs, then uh, I would seek elsewhere, like Meguiar's and the stuff I presented in this video and lots of water. A lot of water. Okay? Until next time, it's Johnny Jones. I'm here at home, and I'll see you later, lady.